Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use OpenOffice Writer headers and footers, and I'm going to be combining that with a brief introduction on page styles as well. So to insert a header into a OpenOffice Writer document, first you got to go up to the Insert menu, Header and footer. Now when you look at header and footer you're gonna see it say default and that default there it's referring to the page styles. Um, the different page styles you have throughout the document each page style can have its own header so by having different pages set to different page styles you can go over here and create and add in different headers to customize each page style. Uh, you'll see a little bit more about what I mean in a minute here. Um, but for right now we'll go ahead and customize the default page um, header style for the default style and we have our little header up here at the top now there's nothing in it yet and you'll notice that by hitting tab we can go to the center and tab to go to the right and it's automatically um, aligned so you don't need to mess with the alignment tools up there you can just hit tab twice get it right to the right alignment and then we can go ahead and add in uh, text fields whatever we want and one of the things that you probably do want to add into a header typically is going to be the special fields you see here by going to insert and fields. The most common one going to be page number, but of course it could be author, title, subject, um, date, or time even. Uh, let's go ahead and do page number. And you'll see it's already added in um, that this is page one of one. It's automatically calculating that, and you'll be able to see how that matters as I go ahead and create another page and then another page and you see each time it's automatically updating that number with the number of the page so open office writer automatically calculates it so once you have those fields set you really only have to set them once for your entire document even if it's 20 or 30 pages long pretty helpful in my opinion uh, of course you can get more complicated than that you can say page one of and then insert fields page count and you see once again it already knows how many pages there are in the document and by doing little tricks like that you can uh, really easily get your headers and footers set like a uh, teacher or a boss may want you to and uh, you can do the exact same things with the footer the only difference between the header and the footer is one's at the top and one's at the bottom so here we'll add in some extra fields to the left hand side uh, let's go with the current timestamp so it's 5 33 um, and 47 seconds p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, um, so that's really the basics of using header and footers, but as I mentioned before, you can customize your headers and footers on each page. Some pages you might not want a header and footer, like a cover page, for instance, and others, um, I don't know, maybe a bibliography, you want to change it all together or you want to eliminate it. In any case, you can customize the page, uh, you can customize the page styles on each page you have in a document if you want. So you can hit F11 to open up styles and formatting or you can hit uh, format and then styles and formatting here right in the menu. And here you're going to see a list of the different default styles, uh, page styles that you can apply to each page. Now if I was to double click right here having not done anything, not added in any breaks, then what would happen is it would change the style of the entire document and that's not what we want. Of course, you can also add in your other styles, custom styles, and this is good for not only headers and footers, but also um, margins, possibly the typical font size or which fonts to use. Um, I think it might have something to do with... Well, let's actually go ahead and take a look here. Uh, I think you can do like uh, how the... I was going to say lists are done, but not quite. But you can see that there's quite a few different things that go into page styles and maybe I'll get into that in more detail in another video but um, just for the sake of changing your headers and footers here uh, if you want to have one page look different than the rest then what you should do is go up to insert manual break and what you're going to be doing here is page break and then the page style you want to break to I believe this is going to be the one the page style of all pages after this break. So the first page is going to be default and then past that we're going to set it to left page. Uh, yes I was correct. Although I inserted that on the wrong page so I might want to redo that. But you see how on this page, uh, for one thing there's no header. Secondly, the space we have to write with is much less than this page and that's because it's using a different style. So now if we want to go ahead and insert a header or a footer you see now when I go to insert header there's another option here for the left page style so I can hit this and now it's going to give me a completely different footer 
than the ones up there. And this is left page style is the right one to go with. Ah, limited. So we might actually want to center that, take back one tab. Is the right one, one, one. Okay, sure. Good enough for me. And uh, you see also every page past it, because I haven't inserted another page break, is also going to be using left page. So let's actually go ahead down to the last page and insert another break here. Um, let's see, uh, envelope, sure, why not? And you can see um, we have the left page right here, but then we're going to get down to this envelope style page format. I have no idea why you'd make a document look like this, but you can. That's the, that's the cool thing is that you can. And now if we wanted to have a third type of page header, we could just go up here to insert envelope page header. Scroll on a bit, and uh, yeah, there, well, whoops. Uh, there you go, page header, page header, yeah. We could even do a footer. That's really all there is to it. Um, just have different page styles if you need more than one header. Aside from that, insert, header, footer, and make sure you make good use of these fields because they'll help you out a lot and uh, make your doc document, your project, your uh, report look a heck of a lot better, more professional, or uh, I guess more college academic. Academic. Okay, let's go with that word. Anyway, I hope this helped you all. Uh, I've been Chris. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section down below. Aside from that, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.